uh, with our colleagues in the minority because we are all intent, and I believe even the leadership in the minority, both in the House and out of the House, are intent on resolving these issues. And Honorable Speaker, as you have uh, already directed in your communication, I shall be reaching out and writing to the minority leadership and hopefully maybe with uh, both here and in the Senate for us to have a forum, Honorable Speaker, and I would beg that the, your office as chairperson of the Parliament Service Commission does facilitate so that we have a forum for talks before the talks as uh, my good friend, the Honorable Opio, and I uh, likes to taunt me about talks before the talks. And I agree with him because, as you have mentioned, such a motion, Honorable Speaker, can only come to establish this committee if we are agreed on the terms of reference and what the committee is going to look into. And therefore, it is not lost on me, Honorable Speaker, that we cannot have a motion that is not agreed on. And therefore, I will be taking up that uh, direction and challenge, Honorable Speaker, and this afternoon, indeed, by the time the Honorable Leader of Minority retreats to his office, he will find a letter uh, on his desk asking that before, hopefully before the end of the, this week, we have a forum, which I do pray that uh, Parliament will be able to facilitate. Hopefully with the Leader of Minority in the National Assembly, the Leader of Minority in the Senate, the Leader of Majority in the Senate, and the proposed co-chairs uh, that have been proposed by, proposed by both coalitions to be able to sit now and harmonize whatever issues that will be up for deliberation. And Honorable Speaker, with those few remarks, let me invite all of us, as you have said, Honorable Speaker, to one, be measured in what we say and what we do. Because, Honorable Speaker, the only thing that we have that we must value in this country is the peace and tranquility we enjoy. Any disruption to that peace and tranquility does not augur well either for us as leaders or for the people that we represent. But as leaders, Honorable Speaker, we have a bigger responsibility and duty to safeguard that peace and tranquility that the people of Kenya enjoy. Because they have elected all of us, and even those leaders who are not in elective positions, but they hold leadership positions in this country. They have a responsibility to ensure that we hold our country together, Honorable Speaker. And the people of Kenya have bestowed all the trust in us to be able to resolve issues that are of concern to them, and even to us, Honorable Speaker. And I want to end by saying that I am confident, Honorable Speaker, that working and reasoning together, we should be able to sit as leaders and be able to come up with solutions, be able to harmonize the motion on the terms of reference and what this committee will be doing. And by the time, Honorable Speaker, the motion for approval of that committee and its terms of reference comes to the House, we should not be in a situation where we are throwing words at each other uh, either inside or outside Parliament, Honorable Speaker, that we will have a very collegiate process that involves all of us and that will be for the benefit of our country, Honorable Speaker. With those remarks, Honorable Speaker, I stand guided by your communication, and as I've indicated, I will be writing, and as I've said, I have been consulting with the leadership in the minority so that we work together in this uh, respect. Thank you, Speaker.